is the saviour of all mankind. He is the author of salvation. And he is that redeemer. What's up, bro? He's a mediator of the new covenant. You need Jesus. Jesus, man. He is the holy and righteous one. The holy one of God. He is the power of God. And he is the wisdom of God. John 1 verse 3 says that all things were created through him and by him and not anything that was made that was made was made except through him. The book of Hebrews says that he is the heir of all things. In the book of Revelation it says that he is the beginning and he is the end. In Isaiah 44 verse 6 in the Old Testament it says that God is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And Jesus has those titles. He is the author of life, he is the bread of life, and he is the doorway, and he is the master. Jesus is the son of the living God, and the title, the name son of God, is pointing and asserting his true and proper deity. And this title signifies a unique relationship that cannot be ascribed to nor shared with any other person except Jesus Christ. Jesus is the same today, yesterday and forever. And he died on that cross to bring you home. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ. In the book of Romans, it says God demonstrated his own love towards us, yet while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And that is still the same today. Jesus is that intercessor today between God and man. He stood on this earth as a man. He came in the form of a man and he was made in the image of a man he took on flesh but yet was without sin he was the sinless savior the lamb of god that takes away the sin of the world and the bible says without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin good works will not get you into heaven the bible says that our good works are like filthy rags so good works following a religious way of life, practice, abstaining from alcohol, food, will not get you into heaven. We have to come to the truth of the word of God that says that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. He is the only way. And Jesus said if anyone comes any other way, he is a thief and he is a robber. He is the good shepherd that laid down his life for the sheep. And he says, I lay my life down of my own accord. Nobody takes it from me, but I lay it down so I can take it up again. He conquered death and he disarmed the principalities and he made a public spectacle of them, triumphant. He overcame death so that you could have eternal life. Come to Jesus. Come to Christ before it's too late. Jesus says there's going to be a great separation between the sheep and the goats. There's going to be a great separation. And Jesus, heaven is not for sinners. Heaven is for the redeemed, the ones that have trusted in Jesus. The one that believe in Jesus and have turned away from sin and are following Jesus Christ. Jesus says that there's two roads. There's the narrow path and the broad road to destruction. And many are on the broad road to destruction, but very few are on the path to life. Very few. And there's a massive difference between getting into heaven and not getting into heaven. And that difference is the difference between your head and your heart and Jesus wants to come into your heart 
He wants to be in your heart. He wants to give you new life. He said you must be born again. He wants to give you a new heart. And he wants to write his laws upon your heart. Jesus says that the true worshippers will worship in spirit and in truth. And religion, good works, will not save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ. Only the blood of Jesus. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. Come to Jesus. Come to the Saviour. God bless you. Amen.